night time. <gasps> You're kidding me. Yeah! Woo! We got it. If I was to ask you to describe the American wolf, I'm pretty sure it would look a little something like this. This is the grey wolf, the largest of all canines and the only one that can be found in Asia, Europe and North America. But did you know that not too long ago a second species of wolf used to be common here in the southern and eastern US, the red wolf. Unfortunately it was declared extinct in the wild as recently as 1980. Yet here we are with a stack of photos taken with hidden camera traps and see this in an area where grey wolves don't exist. Woo! We got it! Yes! Stick around, because we're looking at wolves today! But first, let's back up a little and look at the background to all this. <laughs> this is Chris Lasher. He's the coordinator for the Association of Zoos and Aquarium Species Survival Plan for these red wolves, and he works here at the North Carolina Zoo one of the few places where some of the remaining red wolves kept under human care can still be seen. The history of the American red wolf really stems back to when uh, Europeans came over to this part of the country and settled uh, the eastern part of what is now the United States. Anytime a red wolf was found, it was, it was hunted. In fact, when our uh, government was formed, a long time ago obviously, but they put bounties on red wolves and were paying people to go out and kill this animal. And red wolves used to be very abundant from Pennsylvania down through Florida um, and as far as uh, Louisiana and eastern Texas. Um, so the only reason red wolves aren't still abundant here in the eastern part of the United States really has to do with the human settlement. In a last effort to save the species, biologists came in and captured all the remaining 17 animals they could find and ultimately declared the species extinct in the wild in 1980. 14 of those 17 wolves became the founders of a breeding program set up to try and reintroduce the red wolves back into the wild. So what we're doing um, with the animals under human care is we're maintaining the genetic diversity of these animals. We have around 250 animals under human care in 40 different facilities that participate in the breeding programs for red wolves. And what we call that population is the assurance population to make sure this animal doesn't go extinct. In 1987, the first four pairs of red wolves were reintroduced to the wild in Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge in eastern North Carolina. We knew our chances to actually see one in the wild were going to be very low. These animals are extremely elusive. So instead, we were given coordinates to a set of camera traps put out by a friend Roland Case at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. Found it. Number one. Two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Seven. Right, number eight. Number nine. This is number ten. Golden ticket. Well, <laughs> we'll see. And the cameras did not disappoint. Oh, that's a wolf. And look, hold on, hold on. Is that one collared? If that wolf <clears throat> is not collared. That's huge. That'd be huge. The population of red wolves now, there's really only one wild population left of red wolves right here in North Carolina. And we know there's at least 14 animals out there and the numbers are probably somewhere between 14 and 20 animals. That's the entire population of wild red wolves existing in the world. So we know that we have anecdotal evidence that red wolves on the landscape actually improve the ecosystem and make the other animals around them healthier. Um, and as, as long as we can educate people and raise awareness for this species, I really think that we can tell people that red wolves on the property is not a bad thing and we can bring this animal back. So I hope you enjoy that and that you learned a lot more about these wolves. This is a species that is critically, critically endangered. You're tempted to call this a success story because there are now wolves back in the wild. But remember that the number, number of wolves in the wild is so low. So more protection is needed. And uh, if it wasn't for places like the North Carolina Zoo, this species would very likely go extinct very soon. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for more videos coming out soon.